Hey everybody, How's, how are you guys doing? Hello beautiful family, hope you guys are well. So we have been sharing a lot on Instagram, we've been sharing a lot on Telegram and for those of you who are only on YouTube, some of you are on Facebook I know, but for those of you who are only on YouTube, we feel like we need to catch, get you caught up because we talk, we discuss, so we have a lot more momentum right now on Telegram and Instagram. So if you aren't already there, please do hop in there once in a while because that way we can stay on the same vibration, we can stay in the same frequency. Because right now I'm not sure what you guys have seen and what you haven't because this is for YouTube. But we have, we literally just wanted to come and chat with you guys about everything that we've been seeing psychically for 2021 and the global situation, the economy, the Q ball, you know who I'm talking about the T and the B, like just a whole bunch of stuff. We, as you guys know, we don't dive into the topics of current affairs as much. We focus on the ascension. We focus on raising our vibration. And while we are not all love and light, we focus really on growing and expanding versus getting stuck in all the drama around us, which is really being set up as a bait amongst other things. So anyway, before we go any further, welcome. How's it going, beautiful family? So. We have um, just been pondering recently. We actually took a deep dive into the fourth dimension just to get a pulse on uh, the situation of the ascension and how things are progressing with the um, great awakening and uh, the revelation of the truths. And it seems very obvious that there's a very uh, thick veil between our eyes and the actual current situation that's undertaking um, taking place on Earth right now. So um, we dived into our intuition and we took an astral journey into the fourth dimension and we looked at the whole energy map and uh, some of the things that we gleaned on a very overview, high level overview basis is that the ascension is going extremely well and uh, the process of ascension is going better than our angels and the galactic families expected and uh, it doesn't seem that way on the surface because the mainstream media that is being deliberately allowed to continue to carry out their uh, illusion this is all being set up in a way that the ascension of this planet occurs in a very orderly and very peaceful manner so currently what's taking place um, with the cue ball is that they have lost their main source of power and they're uh, realizing that they're on their way out however being the very vengeful and um, kind of um, venomous group that they are venomous is fitting because most of them are reptilians um, so they just want to deliver their last blow before they exit and they do have an exit plan they do um, know that they're going to recede into the darkness they're a very patient group uh, their plans um, are forced uh, uh, planned out like in hundreds if not thousands, thousands of, years. of years i was actually just about to say they're that. they're very very patient group and it's they not like they just decide term. we're gonna leave now it's very long term many of their plans have been that's why all the people in the royal families or like all these influential people on earth right now are descendants of these guys yeah. they have been planted in their positions of power for this day to man to manipulate humanity on this day so i'm glad you brought that up it's not like yeah. one day they're just gone they think in hundreds and thousands of years and they in a long time ago we made that video about the harmonic conversions and we went through all of this where they look ahead but right now they don't have the technology to look ahead you yeah. guys all know that they don't have the technology to look into the light sphere but the light has the technology to look into all the it's like a chess game so the light is completely aware of all the next chess moves and what you said i really really uh, i just wanted to say it in another way there are two narratives going on which we all know but it is so crystal clear right now to us that two narratives are going on depending on what frequency you're tuned into many people have described this as earth splitting many people have described it as the fifth dimension or a 3d 5d earth whatnot i can tell you i'm a living proof of this dimension that i'm in i'm not fully anchored in 5d because our light bodies our markabas are not yet fully compatible to the fifth dimensional frequencies to be anchored but we are being trained right now in 5d we're literally being trained on all the higher 5d lessons 
of how to incorporate 5D and 3D. And I can tell you that there's a dimension that exists if you've not already tapped into it. There's a dimension that exists right now on this planet, on Earth, and it is a higher vibration, a higher frequency. And every single one of you has access to it, just like every single one on the planet has access to the cue ball timeline. So there's 3D and there's 5D and they're both operating simultaneously. As crazy as that sounds, as crazy as that sounds. And there's sounds, also 4D running in the middle, which is like people who are on their way to ascension and awakening and they're somewhere in the middle of their journey and it's all happening si simultaneously and there's so many uh realities that are interwoven right now that's why this ascension is not just a matter of you know what just release the news and wake everybody up what could happen uh, if the news that uh, of all the corruption and all the uh, things that have been taking place behind the veil uh, if that is suddenly revealed to the public then um, it will cause uh, an immediate ang uh, reaction of anger and then deep fear. And these are two very bad mixes for society that's already very volatile. And already very unconscious. And already wearing these uh, coverings over your face that make you so irritable. You've already lost ha half your life force. Many people have lost their jobs. And uh, what's happening in the background is that uh, although the uh, Mr. B, as we call it, although that illusion is being allowed to be run out, in the background, Mr. T is very much active and um, creating alliances behind the back, uh, behind the background. He, uh, the main alliance that we see uh, intuitionally, and we're speaking in very limited uh, ways as well because we also know that the other side watches psychic and intuitive readings like this and they're very interested. So uh, in a fifth dimensional way, we send them packets of love uh, that uh, serve the highest good. So behind the scenes, there is a lot unfolding. There are a lot of arrests taking place. There is a lot of cleanup operation going on. But at the same time, there are huge branches of the cue ball that are very much still in power, China being one of the main ones of them. So in the case of China, they have an iron curtain around their society for years and nobody knows what happens behind that iron curtain. So they are holding humanity as hostage and uh, it's a very precar precarious situation because if we don't play our cards properly, um, a lot of lives would be wasted. Uh, they call it collateral damage. Uh, so we have to step very progressively in a very like a uh, fine balancing act to make sure all of these things unfold in the most peaceful way. And uh, also the news and the narrative is being allowed to continue for the time being because all these arrests and all these cleanup operations need to be fully completed before the news can be released. So that way, when the news is released of the corruption, um, the fact that many of these people have been put behind bars or uh, served death sentences will, will soften the blow for the public and will help them awaken in a much more peaceful manner. Um, and the one thing that I also want to say is that we have, this is where it gets real fun, okay? If you're connected, for lack of a better term, that's the best word I can use. If you're connected, you just know what's going on, right? Many of you watching have a sense of connection and many of you are working on your connection. You're not doing anything wrong. So if you haven't yet figured out that connection towards you, to your guides and higher self, worry not because worry is what's blocking your connection. Just let go, relax because guidance comes in the most relaxed state. But what I was saying was for those of us who are connected, we are in a state of great peace and surrender and knowing and no, that's not all excitement if you guys have been watching my instagram and telegram uh, stuff i've shared at least three channelings in the last two weeks just from mother mary and jesus and yeshua and they have the most beautiful energy of excitement and forward momentum yeah. they're training us they're showing us timelines that we we look at each other and we're like, how are they preparing us for this timeline now? Like, yeah. it seems like far away, but they're saying, no, 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 no. You need to plan now because it's sooner than you think. So it's almost like there's two versions of Earth and we are being trained on this. We're being given our galactic Earth training to handle that 
timeline because we're not yet ready for that timeline it's a huge timeline and they're saying it's right here so the constant channelings that we're getting from yeshua mary whether whoever whatever beautiful energy comes through it doesn't matter who it's the same message focus on your projects focus on your forward momentum focus on your ascension focus on raising your vibration because that is what is going to get you to where you're going where you're meant to go everything else is just a distraction and like we've always said this distraction is not meant for you they're throwing all these distractions so that while they're doing the cleanup stuff there or whatever they have to do there the whole world is looking there and saying oh my god look look there's all these problems let's do this let's dangle the jab in front of them and let's boast when you have a jab all these distractions are being played out right now so that T and all the other guys involved are can do clean up at the back at least that's what we've been showing and we've been shown that every time we ask that everything's under control we don't even ask that often as you guys know we don't even talk about this like once in three four months we dive into it because we're anchored in this forward momentum train that is so exciting and it's going so fast that we barely have enough hours in a day to keep up yeah you know and uh, many of us light workers um there's some light workers who are, whose mission it is to stay in the fourth dimension and report on the current events and oversee how things unfold on planet earth and there are other light workers like us and our soul family which is you guys whose main uh, soul's mission when we came to earth we carry this within our blueprint of our soul uh, was to create the new timeline of the fifth dimension so we are here to anchor a new uh, energy or, or a new light on uh, on planet earth that will create the foundational anchor that brings the fifth dimension into the physical existence of which is the heaven on earth reality and our uh, uh, our angels have shown uh, showed us that this 5d reality of heaven on earth where everything is running in harmony and peace uh, that reality is running simultaneously with our current 3d 4d reality the current version of time that we are in the current timeline is actually an illusionary timeline that is being allowed uh, to play out for humanity to see uh, how how destructive the results of this experiment can be and what is the experiment that's been played out in the last two to twelve thousand years was what happens to a society if we cut ourselves off from God's source so um, we want to answer that question once and for all and to show humanity that when you cut off uh, cut yourself off from God's source and this experiment has been attempted uh, four or five times before in this current galaxy and it's all always has disastrous results it ends up in a lot of death wars and destruction so this ans uh, this question is cosmically being a, a way cosmically awaiting to be answered and uh, mm -hmm. the entire galaxy is watching how we are at the apex of this drama and they want this to unfold in a way that uh, humanity not only receives the news of their true history and the true happenings behind the scenes but also they have a, such a deep aha moment of learning that they realize that it was their own carelessness their own naivety it was their own powerlessness uh, uh, the, some aspect of our consciousness was so out of balance that we allowed our narcissistic oppressor to take over us even though they're such a minute minority less than 0.01 percent of our population so we allowed them to outsmart us because of our own naivety so now when we come out of this we're going to come out with all the lessons of the mastery of the dark and the light we have learned immense lessons from the uh, from the dark which is just another aspect of our consciousness that is here to teach us and we have learned all these lessons and become masters of the dark and the light mm. so our galactic family is also telling us that they are watching us very closely but they will in no way or no circumstance intervene unless humanity is in immediate danger. They actually gave me just now a reason as to why. Yeah. In fact, they're saying we tried to tell, there was one channel uh, video in which I tried to explain it, but I didn't explain it right. So the, the reminder is just coming in. The galactic family loves you so unconditionally that if they intervene, 
And if they, so let's say they cause an event or they cause a, they cause something, they intervene and they beam you up and then you one day you awaken. Like if they do that for the masses, if they intervene to awaken the masses out of external means and take away the masses free will, what they've shown me so many times, and I, we've talked about this, is that humanity would have lost such a great momentous chance to awaken out of their own free will. That is why out of their unconditional love, they're letting this go on and on and on so that people can awaken out of their own will, awaken out of their own slumber rather than be shocked awake. And so they're not, it's easy for people to interfere. Remember when we, when we got this? From yeah, the, and they also the have a law of non-interference where they do not, temp, they do not meddle uh, with the society unless there is an external threat to that society. So in this case, there is a very careful balance that has to be played out because the reptilians who are uh, an invasive force on planet Earth uh, have also been prevalent in our society for thousands, if not millions of years. So they think they claim their stake on this planet and they think this planet and all its genetic experiments, which is humanity, belong to them. So uh, there is a, a tug of war of ownership taking place. But uh, at this point, that is in the past because these reptilians have been served their notice and they know that they no, no longer hold the claim and they're being forced on their way out. Um, however, the exit plan is being um, deliberately staged so and orchestrated so carefully that that this lesson that humanity needs to learn of not being fooled by an oppressive force is uh, sunk deeply into our consciousness. Yes. And um, the 3D population is like so bent in their um, illusion that they don't even know why they're behaving the way they are behaving. For example, remember when you uh, spoke with your hairdresser and asked him about the jab and how it helps him? Yeah. Relate that story. A week or two ago when I went, I went to this Italian hairdresser here in, Sa in San Jose, Costa Rica, and uh, he had a mask on, everyone had a mask on. I walked in without a mask and thankfully nobody asked me to put one on. So at one point he was upstairs, just him and me, there was no other customers. And I said, take off your mask. And he, and he's the owner of this place. He's like, oh, thank you, thank you. And he took it off. And then he says to me, next week, I'm getting the vaccination. Next week. And I, and I said, oh really, like, uh, how does that help? How does that help you? Don't you need to wear a mask after that? Because I didn't see the relevance. He said, no, 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 I wear a mask. I vaccinate, I wear a mask. So I said, okay, how does that help you then? He's like, oh. He was, he, he, he was actually, at a, he didn't know what to say. Then I said to him, also, have you heard that the vaccinations are toxic? Like, like I dumbed it down a bit. I said, there's a whole bunch of people I know in the States that have passed out, have heart seizures. And he says, I know, I have a feeling it's toxic. And I'm literally thinking how much humanity has dumbed themselves down. They've turned something and all, off. They've turned something off. And then yeah. I said, so there's no point in you getting the vaccination next week if you still have to wear your mask. Oh, and then he says to me, oh, I'll get the vaccination to feel more powerful. I said, then if you feel more powerful, why do you need the mask? Like literally, when you cross exam, they are at a loss for their own bullshit. And this is, this is the state, this is the state of the planet we live in. So do you wanna yeah. go through a few questions that we wrote down to answer? Yeah. Okay, so we actually wanted to tune into a few questions that we asked and um, intuitively picked up answers from. Um, and one of the main questions that was on our mind is, uh, until last year, we saw a timeline where humanity would wake up a lot quicker and uh, the jab would not be rolled out on a massive scale. And it actually came to a surprise to us that this was being rolled out and allowed to take place. So what we received in regards to that is that this has uh, nothing to do with being allowed or not allowed to roll out. Uh, nothing on planet Earth exists or occurs or comes into manifestation unless humanity asks for it. So in this case, what occurs uh, was there's free will. When they were, there was enough disclosure available on public websites that if anybody of um, intelligence wanted to ask some real questions, they would receive the answers. However, it did not take into the mass consciousness as we had expected. And uh, that resulted in a different timeline that we're in currently, where what they are requesting 
in their uh, continuation of their freer programming is the jab to be rolled out because that's the only uh, solution that this consciousness thinks will help them get back to normal, which we all know is a facade and will never happen. So um, there are many people as a result of this are also waking up because many people are questioning the passports that are being, um, there's a condition being made that uh, about the passports and the jab. So all of these things are slow, slowly, even in the mainstream consciousness, um, raising questions like, oh my God, maybe there's something to all these conspiracy theories that they say uh, call it. And there's so many people, there's millions of people that we're not aware of because we're yeah. all stuck in our little pockets. There are millions and millions and millions of people waking up even though you see more people lining up for the jab because they've turned off their brains, there are so many of us rising in our power as a result of all of this. Yeah, saying, exactly. no, this doesn't make sense. It just It's just not being televised by the MSM. It's not being televised anywhere. Facebook groups are being shut down. All kinds of channels are being shut down. Our algorithms have been crashed. We used to do 70, 80,000 views per video and now we barely get 20 because our algorithms were... Manipulated. manipulated by YouTube. This happened about six or seven months ago. So truthers are not being allowed to speak be the truth, exposed. but they can't hold back the momentum. The yeah. momentum cannot There's just be too many subdued. Of us at this point. Yes. And when we asked uh, the collective, um, what can we as light workers do about the situation? What's the best thing that we can do? They said is um, stop worrying, stop placing all your attention on 3D narrative and start visualizing new earth the more we start visualizing new earth the more we create it because we are extremely powerful uh, beacons of light and uh, whatever we give our thoughts and attention to that becomes the tom dominant timeline and the ones in power the negative ones know this so they create fear and illusion uh, distraction dramas and they blast you from all directions of the mainstream media with it so that they can keep you hooked and in their um, in their control because as long as they have you worried they know that you're not progressing with the ascension and this goes even for the light workers it light goes workers mainly for the light workers yes this is i'm talking about it's people. for light workers and for asleep everyone's being kept in a state of fear and we talked yeah. about this in a few videos the ago. only difference is that asleep people don't know what they don't know they're still in the illusion but the light workers are smarter because they see a bigger overview from the fourth dimension and some very few from the fifth dimension actually there's something that they told us we didn't write it down to talk about it today but remember we got a channeled message a few days ago it was very clear on you know until now we've always said don't we, we there's, there's nothing we need to do we don't need to go out and riot we don't need to do that because we work energetically we work in the in the higher planes so right now remember it came in a few days ago we, we haven't that? even spoken about it yet our guides said all of us have to tune into the way we share this message there's a girl on yeah, our facebook sure. uh, i forget her last name but her name is carolyn if you're watching she posts a whole bunch of like she is surrounded by a lot of 3d friends but she's always posting hard hitting like just memes remember yeah they memes said keep and news putting articles. memes just keep putting news articles just put it just keep putting like these instead of you going into long arguments about this is bad yeah. and that is bad start getting tactical on how to spread the word so this is what they showed us very clearly how did you forget yeah, remember they said if, I get it now. they said if 20 30 40 50 60 million people in the world yeah. all use their social media to say the same message but in 10 different ways yeah even the asleep people would would they'll start getting subliminally awake, awake more because the more light workers share the more of a momentum it creates and and they said don't assume that people are not watching you they are yeah. watching you they clearly yeah. showed me they said every time this person puts up a video she might get four likes but there's yeah. like 400 500 people seeing her pictures and just not liking or not, not commenting yeah. and how do you know that because when she makes something that triggers them there's a whole bunch of people who comment yeah. so they're saying keep spreading and this is for all of you this is very important i can't believe we forgot to even mention it mm. Play your part in speaking your truth. So if yeah. you don't believe for some, don't believe in something, speak your truth, but not in a way that says, "Oh, um, you're gonna do this." You don't blame the other person, but instead say, 
I actually don't wear the mask because I have a very strong immune system and I don't want to breathe in my own carbon dioxide. And you know what? Research has shown that every time I breathe into my mask within 10 seconds or what is it, a minute, it's full of germs. And so I can't keep breathing that in. I can't do that to myself. So think of smart ways, like I did with and the I hairdresser. And I about, uh, about you, how uh, I always observe in the morning, every time Eldora is paying the bill for breakfast or something, she always talks to the server, please take off the mask, it's not good for your health. And she's always like creating this uh, momentum of uh, so that it becomes a rhetoric in the consciousness. Even passerbys are hearing it. And, and you know what I do? I don't even say please. I say it in a very, I, f I found this way really works. Like anybody that comes into my vicinity, like today I got a massage on the beach and the lady had a mask on. I said, oh, no, no, take it off, take it off. I say, take it off. And they're like, thank you. So they all have they're this, thank happy. you. They're happy. It's very rarely that I say, take it off and they don't. I don't even say, please take it off because listen, I'll say it once. Yeah. We have a rule. We'll only tell people once about it. If yeah. they continue wearing it, like we tell our maid, like who comes to clean our house, you don't need to wear the mask. If someone insists and they wear it, we don't care. We're not going to tell you 10 times. So model the behavior rather than preaching to people. Model the behavior. Because these quiet ones, the quiet ones we're watching, they are picking up nuggets from you. They're like, there's something about this person's aura that seems very confident, that seems very yeah. empowered. And I kind of want what they have. And then start making all these memes. But right now, the, just to clearly say the message, the guidance was... Every single person who's awake, every single light worker, every single star seed, every single truther out there needs to be saying the same message, but in smart ways, not trashing people, not being unclassy. In a very positive, being very scientific, tone. compassionate. And don't not, get into yes. arguments and comments threads. There's no point. Just share your truth and ignore and the negative off. comments and back off. Ban people who are uh, being very mean. important. If anyone's harassing you, they have no right to. If anyone's harassing you on your truth post, it means they don't respect you enough to allow you to speak your truth on your own page. Yeah. It means they conditionally love you and no, you don't need those people in your life. Yeah. So when you make a post and you see people bad mouthing you, it's very simple. Block, fuck off. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm also now speaking to the very specific light worker who's watching this video and uh, this doesn't apply to everyone, but some of you it may apply to. So if you are still in fear of what your family and friends will think of you, if you start sharing your truth, then that is a mm. hurdle of your coming into power that you need to uh, overcome. Yes. Because opening up your solar plexus really means standing in your truth, in your power, and regardless of what other people think of you. And if you are still intimidated by your parents, well, it's time for you to stand up and have a voice of your own. Absolutely. If you are intimidated by your partner or your children yes. ridiculing you, it doesn't mean you start jabbing at them and start uh, getting into arguments about who's right and who's wrong. I'm not saying that because at all. Because that's not I'm in just your saying power. You stand in your power and s start sharing your truth on social media with pe uh, in places with people who actually want to listen to these this kind of news. The more news we share in our communities, the more we start uh, adding our voice to the rhetoric, the more awareness and the uh, ball of light continues to grow. Okay, that, and that sound just started. I know, that's a bird. <laughs> Some of you don't like that sound. <laughs> and it's out of nowhere. It's a weird bird, but... But baby, back to your point about when you're at home, start practicing your own, like he said, solar plexus. If you're not in your power and you're letting everybody in your house, your kids, your partners, everybody just boss you over, it means you have a lot of lessons to learn with these people before you can even see the doors of new earth. Because you can't go as a victim on new earth and say, I don't know, I know I'm right. I feel very powerful when I'm on Eldora and Siman's page. I can say whatever I want because I feel free. But the minute I go to my house, I become closed and trapped and my energy and my power goes away. That is what you need to learn, you guys. Learn how to be fierce warriors. Fierce warriors. Our guides are saying, bring out the warrior spirit. Like literally anything you do, bring out the warrior spirit. The love and light spirit is history. It's just not serving a purpose right now. We're masters right of the dark and the light. And the dark is a warrior spirit. The dark is the masculine. The dark is the uh, spirit that the just... protector. Yeah, it takes action. Yes. So the dark is not just purely evil as we have black and white made it. Um, there's many lessons we've learned from the dark about standing in our power and that's what we must exemplify and personify today. And one more thing that's coming in right now, it's not related to this, we'll go into the questions right away, I'll be super quick about this because we're digressing. 
is when you're out and about, remember that just because you know the truth of the face coverings, it doesn't give any of us the right to violate the laws of the land. So let's say you're in a club, like we were in a beach club a few days ago and the, every day they allow us to go without that. And a few days ago, this one guy thought he was doing his job so perfectly. So he came and he gave us shit about it. But what we said was, you know what? This He says you need to be respectful of our rules. Like, you know, that fuck, the 3D jab they give you, the 3D uh, speech. And I'm like, okay, what are you going to say to that? So basically, our guides have always taught us don't like it's you can't just go and start smoking marijuana in a place where it's illegal because, oh, in some ascended nation, it's allowed. You have to follow the rules of the land. So we yeah, have to light workers. For some rule. reason, this is coming in right now to many of you. Like you can't just say, oh, my guides told me to start walking naked all over town. So I'm walking naked. No, your guides would never tell you to walk naked over, over town. If someone is telling you that they're not your higher guides, they are reptilians pretending to be your guides. Your guides will never do that to you. We need to make a very strong. Yeah. Yeah. video about it's how do you differentiate up. between guidance and not guidance so let's do that next and that's also <laughs> being covered in our uh, Melchizedek Mystery School course psychic, protection, psychic protection course protection. which is coming out soon okay go back to your um, next question yeah okay so one other question that we were tuning into the collective was uh, what happens to people who've already taken the jab and I'm sure there are many people even amongst people who tune into our channel who want to know this and you may have uh, taken it or you may not have taken it or you may know someone who's taken it. So the first thing to put your mind at ease is that your ascension will not stop if you have taken the jab once. Um, that depends on many factors, including your health, your strength of your immune system, um, and basically how active you are. If you're sedentary and you get disease, uh, you get sick easily, then your chances are higher because your immune system is uh, slow. So uh, at the same time, um, there is hope for many people because this was designed to harm our DNA in a specific way so that our ascension is not allowed to progress. However, uh, and that was done through some ET nanobot technology. However, that has also been neutralized to a great extent. And uh, currently, the variants uh, that we have are causing some fatalities. And those fatalities are also related to uh, people who have a pre-agreement to exit the planet at this point. So some people are exiting, choosing to exit that way. So there's many multi-dimensional aspects that are being al allowed to r unfold in the narrative because people uh, behind the scenes are also able to glean a lot of information that's being hidden from the uh, mainstream. And if you actually go to the CDC website, there's a hidden link in there that allows you to do an advanced search. And within that advanced search, you can see month by month data on how many injuries there are and how many uh, deaths have occurred. And uh, last I checked, the deaths were in the 2500s and the injuries were in the 56,000s. That's only for the United States. And that's probably old And that's probably very like filtered information. Yes. So conservative. And, yes. And guys, I'm getting another message as well right now. So if you're a light worker and you've taken it, taken the whatever, the deeper spiritual meaning behind it is that you have to really look into the spiritual signature of what your actions signify. Where did you go into fear? Did you give up faith? Because you know, you're a light worker. You know, if you're watching this channel, you absolutely know that you don't want it or you didn't want it. So if you've taken it, I completely agree with what he said. It completely resonates with the guidance I've been receiving. But in addition, the way you can, it's immune system and all of that you can focus on. But side by side, that's on one side. The other thing you need to focus on is to really look into the spiritual lesson that you that you failed, <laughs> that you now have a chance again to pass. If you are succumbing to fear and taking something as drastic as this, let's say to uh, make your spouse happy or to make your kids happy or to fit in with your friends because everybody's got it or because your job mandates it and you absolutely, you're a light worker, you absolutely don't want it, but you don't want to lose a job. It means you're not in your power. It means you're giving, you're letting the 3d matrix kick you around so this is very deep so if you've already taken it there is absolutely still hope yes of course i'm getting the same message i've always got the same message that it's not the end of the world if you've just got one of course we do not recommend any more but go into the spiritual reason that is how you reverse the effects the physical effects of this you 
by handling it spiritually, you actually reverse the damages much quicker than just physically. This is super important. It's always energy. It's always spirituality. Yeah. And also focusing on your ascension will help. Uh, eating superfoods every day will help. Taking care of your health will help. And uh, our guides are also sharing a message for the uh, light workers that it is very important now for us to stop grounding and connecting with old earth and start connecting with 5D earth. So uh, if you don't know the process of grounding, then you can look it up. We have some videos about it on our channel. Um, we go into it deta in detail in the psychic protection course as well, which should yeah, be out any minute. Exactly. And you can do a quick Google search as well and find out how to ground. So um, what takes place when we ground, we connect with the crystal grid of earth. So if you are connecting consciously or unconsciously with the grid of the current version of earth, then that's not a, a no longer a good idea. This is just hot off the press. Um, it's a good idea for you to start visualizing new earth, 5D earth, where everything is heaven on earth kind of existence and you're within it. And then you're grounding to the core of that 5D earth. Yeah. Because what happens is there will be uh, an ascension wave kind of energy that's going to wash over this planet and it's going to transform all the particles from carbon to crystalline. And this, may, uh, this process may occur in days or within hours, we don't know. And when that process occurs, when light workers are anchored to the new frequency that is coming in of 5D, they're going to be shifted into that reality a lot quicker. Yes. Otherwise, there's going to be like this transitory version or timeline of Earth that has been disconnected from the core crystal computer. And it is just an illusion, kind of like a waiting room until you realize what happened. You uh, strengthen your body particles enough and then you move into new Earth. So uh, the gist of the message being, when you are grounding, always visualize your grounding cord connecting to the 5D crystal of new Earth. And uh, do not no, no longer use the current version of Earth in your grounding practice. Yes. You were going to talk about one last thing, right? Yeah. So we also asked, uh, is there any danger to light workers on this planet? And the Galactics replied, under no circumstance will we allow any harm to come to our children to the highest degree possible because they're not uh, they're not uh, fully in control of 8 billion souls so there are always uh, situations where things uh, that uh, undesirable things occur but they have disabled the ability for a massive world event of destruction to be allowed to take place they're absolutely not allowing that under any circumstance and also they have assured us that they have enough um, thousands if not millions of scout ships available around the atmosphere no not scout ships uh, rescue ships available around the uh, atmosphere that can literally cause a mass evacuation of the entire population within 15 to 20 minutes. This is on an emergency situation. Yeah. Which they don't think is And necessary. by no means, this is just us asking out of curiosity. By no means is this oh gosh. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. meant to imply that uh, there's something to be worried about. But we about. are fully protected. Yeah. It's just a reassurance that we receive that no matter how rocky things yes. get, you are safe and you do not have to worry about yourself and your family. Um, and the people who are just of a negative vibration, they're too much on the extreme side of uh, evil that they need to vibrate on a lower frequency planet. And that's also being taken care of. You know, guys, I have to I want to uh, share this analogy. Back in the day when I was completely asleep, I watched the movie Sex in the City Part 2 and I loved it. And I remember I was so programmed myself. I was so in the matrix, so in the box myself that I that last scene Remember in the end where they get arrested in uh, Bahrain or wherever and all the girls are, um, the girl, this blonde girl's bag opens up and condoms and all of that fall off. And the Arabs start pointing at her and saying, you horrible woman, you wretched women, woman. And I had a, an epiphany a few days ago, about a week ago, we were so bored. We never watch TV, like we don't ever watch uh, movies these days. Maybe once every month or so we watch a movie. I said to him, let's watch Sex in the City Part 2. And he's like, sure. It's actually fun. <laughs> he's my BFF. I used to watch Sex in the City with my brother for some reason. <laughs> oh my God. Yeah. This is a confession moment. <laughs> I used to watch it, okay? Who was Sorry your favorite? Sorry I let you down. <laughs> So I no, said, I, I said, it. do you want to watch Sex in the City Part 2? And he's like, sure. So this was last week we were watching it. 
and the same scene occurred in the in the end when i watched it i had a breakthrough i was like i absolutely hate like i, I used to think i love dubai because i live there i love the shopping but i that's what my head thinks my ego loves dubai but when i go there physically into the arab world I feel it's not in resonance with my soul. And so it's so crazy when I watched it when I was completely asleep, I was so part of the religious programming that I actually looked at that girl as a whore. I actually looked at her as, "Oh my god, she has condoms in her bag and she's wearing, you know, she's, she's not a very, bad she's a bad person." <laughs> because I was so heavily heavily infiltrated with this religious programming by my ex-husband and his uh family. And when I watched it last week, I said to him, I don't ever want to go back to Dubai or any of the Middle East and I said to him I don't think these guys are coming to new earth like I had this fire in me that I I said I don't think these guys are yeah, coming to new earth make it. and he's <laughs> and like absolutely not so if you think about it like there the, even when we went last year to uh, Doha they mistreated us in the in, at the airport they mistreated yeah. us so badly just cuz I went under the railing instead of going all the way around I just went under the railing uh, in the immigration line or in the airport and the right. guy said why did you do that he and he got caught because i just snuck in very quick cuz i'm 5 feet 3 and then he while doing it the whole chain came off and so to protect him i went in front of <laughs> and i said to the security guard it was me because they favor women she stands up for me when <laughs> somebody is rude to me she's like this Whoa. of course nobody dare <laughs> mess with you her warrior isis comes and you up. know what he she he said he's like okay both of you go now walk the whole circuit and come back and so we did and he tried to make a mock of us but we weren't in our ego we did it and i looked at him and i said you know when you come to canada we'll give you a warm welcome and that was my way of saying that but anyway <laughs> we left but now when i think of it i never want to go there ever because the consciousness there just does not agree with me and i know many of you are watching from that from dubai and all of that and you guys know what i mean start tuning into the vibration of these people and what they stand for yeah. i do not see them in new earth it's as simple as that how they're vibrating so low this this consciousness that i'm talking about they are so deeply buried up the their own this is the narcissistic chauvinistic kind yes. of consciousness it has nothing to do with any particular race it exists within all races is this like oh. male dominant oh. masculine that yes. puts others down and takes pleasures in others uh suffering ego consciousness yeah, ego i have money you know like i have yeah. money and i'm the arbab or i'm the king and also uh this is no, no in no way condemning certain souls to hell because there is no such thing as hell so the question arises what will happen to the specific people who are not evil but they're too low in their consciousness dense. they're very dense they're even rude they're selfish Obnoxious. they're greedy what will happen to such and they're not in their integrity such souls so the um what we're getting is that these are very young souls they have very little experience in existence in 3d existence so in new earth of course they will not be able to exist but it also is not a punishment for them because they're not bad souls they're just like exactly. very young souls so there are other planets within our galaxy and within our universe that hosts such uh, 3d consciousnesses of societies that are just beginning to evolve so they have to start their evolution process elsewhere just that earth will be only for ascended souls you explain that so beautifully because from the yeah. angelic realm like we're humans in our humans like we look at these people and we're like oh thank goodness you're not coming to new earth <laughs> but the angels and we the guys we have to be real sometimes yeah yeah being real man <laughs> like come on that was that that scene in that movie triggered something deep within me because yeah. i was the person who laughed after the girl uh, just 6 7 8 years ago i was so programmed and when i think of how uh, yeah anyway it's very important the angels and the guides they don't judge humanity no matter what you do if you're a murderer if you're a rapist if you're whatever it's the evolution of the soul they're yeah. like you've been the victim you've been the perpetrator you've done both yeah. so it just means you're you will pick up a planet that's in accordance to your frequency new yeah. earth's frequency is simply not going to be a match to people vibrating in ego consciousness and when i say ego consciousness i even mean normal people like you and me who are in their ego fully awake spiritual but completely in their ego and they don't even know it they so don't realize they it. don't even realize it because the ego has them completely completely in a hypnosis So yeah. if you're sitting there thinking why yeah like I don't see egos in our channel cuz egos can't stand us But I again, don't every everyone has an ego yes. it just depends on how, how much of that ego is. you have integrated Correct. and how much of it still controls you How dominant is your way. ego but I can honestly say that if you're dominant in your ego you can't you wouldn't be able to stand us 
Yeah, that, that's why the light, that's a fact. light always triggers egos because it reveals what within each uh, being, each entity needs to be revealed to come to a state of evolution. So um, having said that, I, uh, you want to wrap it up slowly? I think we're good. We're done. Yeah, just one more thing before we wrap up. I just wanted to mention what is the best thing that we can do moving forward in 2021? It's going to be a very energy intensive year all the way from June 21st, which is solstice. It's going to be a very powerful pulse sent to Earth uh, following into the end of July, uh, July 20th to August 8th is the um, Lion's Gate window. So be aware of the Lion's Gate window. It's going to be a very powerful portal that's going to bring uh, uh, new codes from Sirius that are going to help integrate a 6D uh, layer around the current 5D layer of um, that is surrounding the planet. So a new 6D grid is also being created from Sirius that is also coming to completion. Uh, there's no time uh, frame in 6D. So it is uh, in oneness already there. And the more, the more portals open up to Earth, the more of these frequencies are integrated within within the grid that already exists. And this is going to shift us in a quantum leap towards ascension all the way into December 21st, 2021. There's going to be the most massive pulse we've ever seen in our history so far being sent to Earth. And uh, all of this is going to trigger 3D. It's going to stir up the pot. It's going to shake things up. It's going to bring hidden truths to the surface. And uh, it's there's going to be a, there's already a massive awakened population that is just awakening in their first one or two years of awakening yes. and they're going to be becoming mature and uh, then new waves are going to be coming in and it's going to be a multiplier effect so what we see over the next couple of years is masses and masses of awakening um, causing all of humanity to eventually awaken to some extent and some to go some small percentage of the population will go into extreme fear and continue to be in denial mode like i don't want to hear it i don't want to know it and my version of reality See no is evil, true. hear no evil. Yeah. Do no so evil. Our job <laughs> is to just visualize new earth, anchor new earth in our grounding every day, and uh, set affirmations for what we want to create in our life, move out of big cities, move into harmonious communities, start growing fruits and vegetables in your backyard. Um, in whatever small way possible, even if it's smiling at another person, create your version of new earth mm. with your selflessness, with your compassion, with your love to yourself and bring in more of what resonates with you into your life and be more bold about who you are with your uh, people, with people around you. You know, when you said that, I when you said create more of new earth for yourself, I, I don't see it as much as outside as inside. Within. M create within. your new earth in your life. What do you need to do in your life today to feel like you're in new earth? Yeah. Do you need maybe more self-care time? Do you perhaps need stronger boundaries so that you know you have enough space you claim your space and you know who you are do you need to speak up a little bit more do you need to speak less do you need to make what do you need to do to bring more heaven in your earth more heaven in your life that is really what we're being asked to do on a very very on an individual level because that's going to completely shift the consciousness of this planet and I love how me and Eldora are just always creating he heaven in our life. Yes. It's just the two of us and we wouldn't have it any other way. We're just basking in everything and we're in a deep sense of gratitude. We appreciate things so much that the universe is constantly giving more More than that. anything, I appreciate him and he appreciates oh me. Oh my God. Our appreciation for each other is like through the roof. We tell each other like a we're million times a day. We're peas in a pod. <laughs> we're like... We never get enough of each other. Our only <laughs> challenge is to get more alone time. And, and even alone after time, an, we after miss an each hour, other. It's like we're calling each other. And we need to keep touching each other because we feel like we're, we're constantly, constantly like charging this. each other. We're actually, if you ever see us in public, you won't see one of us. I can guarantee you that. I know, I know, I know. I love it. And he loves my haircut so much. He calls me Nina. Nina in Spanish means little girl. He's like, you're my Nina. You're my Nina. You're my little girl. I know. <laughs> <laughs> I love you guys. This was super spontaneous. Take care, soul family. I'm glad we made it. I love you guys. Take care. Happy new moon. Looking Bye. forward to seeing your comments. And I love you. Bye.